Hi guys, my name is Lee and I'd like to welcome you to this video on how to learn computer graphics. Now recently I've looked over my YouTube channel and I've seen that I'm getting close to about 3,000 subscribers. Um, I've been on YouTube for a very long time, my goal really isn't to gain a lot of subscribers and, and stuff like that. Really it's just to help people learn new software, especially when dealing with uh, computer graphics and um, uh, computer, like video editing and, and game design and so on and so forth. So what I want to do in this video, just sort of as a thank you, is to show you all the resources that I've used over the last 10 years or so to learn uh, a variety of different software packages. And so whether you are new to this channel or new to this industry, hopefully there's going to be a lot of resources here that you can take advantage of. And if you're an experienced user, maybe you'll discover a website you've never seen before, or maybe you will just uh, find um, new information on these websites that you have uh, not learned before. So with that being said, let's um, start off with the major players first. So we have a few uh, really big companies in this um, space of uh, training material. And the first one is Pluralsight. So, so Pluralsight.com. Now, Pluralsight has a wide variety of different courses that it offers, not just within the um, arena of uh, creative arts, but also things like IT skills and, uh, you know, things for like data professionals and architecture, you know, manufacturing and design and uh, so on and so forth. So this really is a wide uh, sort of, they, they sort of really have a really, really wide net of um, products you know, on their website. So if you're interested in just getting involved or just learning some new piece of software, I would recommend that you come here first and just see what they have to offer. The second one is Linda. So lynda.com, now lynda.com, just like Pluralsight, is another really big company that offers training material. And again, it's not really specific to one particular area, but they have a wide range of different courses. As you can see here, you can see they have CAD design and business and development, education, IT, uh, marketing, photography, and so on and so forth. So those are really the two really big websites that have a very wide range of different courses and different software. And uh, if you want to learn a new skill, I would recommend that maybe you start here first. The problem, or I guess not really a problem, but the thing with these companies are is that there are is that their content is you have to pay for. So you're guaranteed to get really high quality, professional sounding, professional looking material but you have to pay for them. Now, we have a few of the websites and some of them you have to pay for and some of their content is free, but they're a little more um, sort of honed in more towards computer graphics. And so the first one of those is uh, the Genoman Workshop. So the Genoman Workshop, press okay. And you in this, on this website, you can see that as, even as you go through the main page, you can see that most of this is uh, computer graphics. For example, you know, scanning people and um, using things like uh, ZBrush and so on and so forth. So this is a little more honed in towards uh, computer graphics. And if you go to um, their uh, drop down here, you can see all of the different areas that, that they actually specialize in. So they have uh, 3D printing and character animation, character design environment design, game engines, and, and so on and so forth. So this is another great resource. Again, uh, this material is paid for, but the material here is more specific to, um, is more specific to the creative field. So more specific to game design or architecture, 3D modeling, character design, and so on and so forth. So after that, uh, we got tutsplus.com uh, this is a website I used to use uh, many years ago but I don't really use this website anymore um, because I, I prefer to have more of a I have more of a specific focus these days but you know they have tutorials on coding and video editing business uh, music and audio uh, computer graphics 3d motion uh, 3d and motion graphics and, and so on and so forth so this website has a, a variety of 
material and actually a lot of this stuff is actually free so for example we go over to 3ds max and we're going to get a bunch of articles and some of these articles will contain videos and some of it is just text so these this type of place can be really a good place for little small nuggets of information um, i generally find that their content is not really updated so much when dealing with um, 3d graphics and game engine based stuff as you can see um, with the published dates here but if you I just want to look around and you know see what they have to offer. You know, please feel free to go over here to um, tutsplus.com. So after that, we have a website that is specifically dealing with games design. So if you are interested in games design, you should check out this website. That's 3dmotive.com. Okay, so 3D Motive, as I said, is specifically in the market of uh, creating. Um, training material for people who want to get into the games industry. So if we look under their subject, or for example, their software, you see we have 3ds Max, Maya, ZBrush, and then we have like the UDK, which is the old version of Unreal Engine 4. We have Marmoset, Unity, and, and so on and so forth. They also have downloads and freebies on this website. So if you want professional uh, training, then you have to pay for it. But if you want some freebies, you just want to see what they have to offer we can also look at um, that section as well. Okay, so as I said, this is specifically dealing with uh, game design. So let's move on to the next one. Um, so the next one we have here is uh, evermotion.org. So let's see. Now evermotion.org is another website that's been around for, for quite a long time now. And uh, this website specifically deals with architectural visualization. Uh, they have a variety of different products. Um, let's see, did I put this in wrong? Let's have a look, here we go. Evermotion.org. Oh, yep, it's right, okay. So Evermotion.org, like I said, deals specifically with architectural visualization. So if this is really what you're interested in, you should definitely check this out. This is going to have tutorials and articles and uh, free downloads on producing high quality um, visualizations. Um, some stuff is free and some stuff that's have some paid stuff. Um, I believe recently they've had a lot of stuff that deals with taking um, information from a 3D program and placing that into for example, the Unreal Engine. And so I know I, I know they have things on the marketplace um, for that. But if you're specifically interested in architectural visualization or you want to get you want to download or get access to maybe um, some professionally put together um, some professionally put together scenes, then by all means jump over to this website and uh, have a look what they have to offer or have to offer, sorry. Okay, so the next few websites are more sort of like community based. So we got 3D total.com and uh, 3D total.com is uh, more of a community based uh, website. Uh, you're going to come here if you want to um, sort of ask questions on a forum or you want to, you, you want some free tutorials or free textures, you know, so they have things like that here. Um, this is pretty nice. Uh, it's not really updated as regular as it used to be in the past. However, it does have little golden nuggets of information on here. And uh, I would highly recommend going to this website and signing up and, and uh, being a member and, you know, sort of talking on their forums if you want to get, um, or if you want to get or learn things from a professional. Um, I tend to find there's a lot of professionals on this website, even if you'd like to um, submit artwork on here. I, I believe it has to be uh, vetted um, by a panel and make sure that it's of a professional standard or at least what they consider a professional standard here. So after that, we've got a very, very old website, which is 3dbuzz.com. Okay, now 3D Buzz is probably one of, or if not the first um, website that was specifically dedicated to um, 3D graphics. I know it was one of the first companies that um, had relationships with uh, the, with um, Epic Games and in, in uh, creating their uh, training material for the uh, UDK. So 
this is a very old website. This is very, very much a community-based um, website. Again, they also offer courses in which you can purchase, but they also have a, a lot, a lot of free stuff on here as well. So I would recommend checking this out, but uh, the, the problem with this website is it it's, doesn't really get updated very much. There's, there's barely any any um, activity in the forums these days. But if you want to buy their courses and you just want to check out their free stuff, by all means, feel free and uh, have a look around. Okay, and the last one I have is also another website that I that is more community based, and this is a little similar, uh, a little more similar to 3D Total. This is uh, 3dm3.com, and um, again they have learning material which is uh, all free on this website. So we have learning material, and here they have I guess they have short films and galleries, and over here they even have like free models and uh, free tutorials so if uh you want to check out some articles you want to check out some tutorials you want to see what's going on um in the world of uh, 3d i recommend going over here see what's going on uh, again i don't think that this website is updated as much as so many others but if um you just want to poke around and get some free textures and some free models and you know look around on their forums and, and look at their, their gallery images and stuff like that, please, uh, by all means, feel free. So, with that being said, those are like the 10 websites or 10 resources that I've used over my time um, in learning uh, computer graphics. I hope that these websites are very useful to you um, and you can learn something from these and, and um, yeah, just really become a, a, better, a better person at what you're doing. So, with that being said, um, I'd like to thank you for watching and until next time. Bye-bye for now.